Odessa Lynx, uh, we've been in existence since 2002 and we help with information and referral services. We're an entry point for all sorts of diverse needs and so sometimes there's just not enough resources to navigate them um, to essential supports like deep subsidy assistance for rents, mortgage, um, sometimes you know credit counseling or things that will kind of help them be financially prepared for when life happens. We're also able to help with what we call Project Hope Assistance and Project Hope Assistance is uh, specifically for homeless families, but it kind of helps them get stable while they're still pursuing um, the supportive services that we refer them to, and then just kind of builds them up, helps them get to a level of self-sufficiency so that they can eventually kind of graduate off assistance and um, be self-sufficient. Odessa Links, um, us being a nonprofit, we pursued the Community Development Block Grant CV fund application. In doing that, we were able to pursue assistance that wasn't always available um, for vulnerable families, and then specifically homeless families. I would say Permian Basin altogether, we've been severely impacted. And so that particular funding will allow us to help individuals that have been severely impacted by COVID, by the downturn or the impact to our economy, and we're able to help them hopefully get stable and eventually independent. We've been hit severely in the Permian Basin. I have no doubt we'll get past those challenges, um, but we definitely just, we need the community support at this time. So thank you.